Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Danielle and I'm a previous teacher turned full-time reseller. For those of you who don't know, I used to teach elementary band while reselling part-time. Today, I'm gonna share with you my summer sales. It is $1,100 or about that for the summer. And I know that's not a lot for some of you, but this year was a rough year for me. And so I just wanted to enjoy my summer and kind of ease into the transition of reselling. So whether you are a seasoned reseller or new seller, I hope you can gain something from this video. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, as I share my sales, I will go ahead and put them right here so you could see what they look like. And I will say that my average cost of goods is between three and $10 and like no more than that. Um, but I won't go over each item specifically, like what they cost, but I will share with you how much it sold for and like what I made from that. Up first is this Y2K Juicy Couture bag that sold for $70 and I made 56. I noticed that these bags do really well if they have like the larger keychains or big bows. Um, but beyond that, I don't really know. So if you have any suggestions for that, please drop them down in the comments below. Then there was these Lulu Lemon Fast and Free Reflective High Rise Shorts. They sold for 55 and I earned 44. Next was another pair of Lulu Lemon Shorts. They were a plaid pattern and these were actually an older style. They sold for 34 and I made 27.20. Another Lulu Lemon item was this new with tags Lulu Lemon Align Tank. I originally bought these for retail arbitrage because we have a Lulu Lemon outlet here in Phoenix. And so I purchased this a while back. Um, I'm pretty sure I just barely made my money back um, because I took too long and sat on my death pile. So don't do that. Then we have this Alice and Olivia Delora multi-stripe midi dress that sold for $70 and I made 56. This was like the first time I found this brand. So I just took a chance on it because comps looked pretty good. Then we have a Lululemon air support bra. I bought these again for retail arbitrage. And so I made a little bit of money, but in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done this purchase. It sold for 45 and I made $36. This next item I actually showed two of and it is the Starbucks Sakura studded tumbler. I originally bought one for me and then I filed like a missing complaint because like it never showed up and then eventually another one showed up months later so that's how I ended up with two. They both sold for $80 and I made $64. Next are these Miss Me denim shorts. They're super cute and broidered with like peace and love signs and I thought they were just so adorable. They sold for $60 and I made $45 we have this torrid polka dot bikini top that in hindsight I wouldn't buy again it sold for 20 and I made 16 it was new with tags if I remember correctly I paid a little too much money so I would not pick that up again these next pair of shorts are by free people I originally bought them for me and then I decided to just get rid of them so I sold them for 25 and I made 20 another free people item is this like romper overall dress and it sold for 16 and I made $12.80. I bought a bunch of these because we used to have a Dillard's outlet and these were super cheap. So I did make a little bit of money, but not as much money as I would have liked. I have another Torrid item. It is this rash guard that sold for 30 and I made 24. This next item is a pair of men's Robert Graham loafers. I don't know if I would pick these up again because they sat for a long time and I picked them up because of the brand. They did sell for 45 and I made 36. So I definitely made some money on them, but they did sit for a while. Up next are these Lululemon Align shorts. They sold for 33 and I made 26.40. Then we have a Skims Ultra Fine Mesh Bra. This sold really fast. It sold like the next day for $20 and I made 16. So if you can get it for super cheap, I would definitely pick up Skims. These next pair of shorts are somewhat a new to me brand. It's called Arcteryx. I don't find it very often, but I've found a few items by them lately. Um, they are a pair of long cargo shorts. They sold for 35 and I made 28. Another pair of shorts by Free People. These used to be mine as well, and then I just decided to get rid of them. So I sold these for 28, and then I made 22.40. This Lucky Brand hat sat for a long time, so I wouldn't get it again, and I sold it for 15, and I made $12. We have another pair of Lululemon shorts. The Hotty Hot short style seems to be doing well. These sold for 36, and I made 28.80, and this was including a pocket zipper that would not 
unzip. I sold another free people item and it is this rattan backpack. I've actually sold this backpack before um, for a lot more back in the day. Um, so I only sold this one for $24 and I made $19.20. I don't know if I would pick it up again. Next are a pair of cool Bermuda cargo shorts. They sold for $30 and I made $24. I love selling this brand. It seems to do very well. And in general, I love selling outdoor and active wear. Next, we have this new with tags Billabong bikini bottoms. They sold for $17 and I made $13.60. Again, I bought several of these for super cheap when we had a Dillard's outlet. So that's where those came from. All right, this next item I'm super excited for because they are a pair of Rothy's and this is like the only time I've ever found Rothy's. They sold super quick next day and they sold for $70 and I made $56. Another pair of Lululemon Hottie Hot shorts. Again, this style seems to do very well, selling between $30 and $45. These sold for $35 and I made $28. This watermelon hat, I wish I never bought because it just sat. So it only sold for $10 and I made $7.05. I think I made a little bit of money off of it, but I wouldn't buy it. I just bought it because it was like a novelty print back when I did, but I would not pick up again. We have another new with tag Lululemon item. It is this long line energy bra. I did pick this up at the Lululemon outlet here in Phoenix. It sold for 40, I'm sorry, it sold for 50 and I made $40. Up next, we have these Natural Life Wide Leg Palazzo pants. I always see these ads on Facebook for this brand. And so I was super excited to find it in the thrift wild. They sold for 30 and I made $24. I will say these had a lot of interest and by a lot, I mean like 76 likes, but they weren't selling quickly. And I think because they didn't retail for a whole lot, people didn't wanna pay a lot. So I would pick this up, but just make sure you get it for super cheap. Next is another retail arbitrage item from the Dillard's outlet when it existed here in Phoenix. It is these new with tags, Teva leopard print platform sandals. They sold for $66 and I made $52.80. Another pair of Lululemon Align High Rise shorts. These sold for $40 and I made $32 off of them. Another pair of Lululemon Hottie Hot shorts. These sold for $40 as well and I made $32 off of them. This next Free People dress used to be mine and then I decided to get rid of it. It sold for $18 and I made $14.40. Next, I sold a bundle of shorts by Free People, Madewell, and Good American. They were all the same size, so this person just bundled them together. The bundle sold for $60 and then I made $48. Some of these used to be mine, so I was willing to let them go for a little cheaper. Next are these super cute Mary O'Malley for Anthropology insect flannel pajama pants. They sold for $35 and I made $28. This was another item that sold super fast next day. This Lululemon Everywhere belt bag used to be mine. I decided to get rid of it because it just wasn't a color I was reaching for. I pretty much just use my black one, so I'm starting to get rid of all my colored ones. This one sold for $30 and I made $24. These normally retail for $38, so not a bad sale. This next dress is a new to me brand called Shopo. I bought this brand new. It sold for $35 and I made $28. This brand seems to be doing fairly well. Um, it just depends on the style, so just make sure you check comps with this brand. We have another bundle for some Cabu items. The first item is a pair of overalls and the next item is a purse. They are in this pattern called Greenhouse, which is a cactus succulent print. I originally purchased both of these items for me, but then decided to get rid of them because I wasn't using them as much. So I was able to sell them for $148 and then I made $118.40. Now we will go ahead and move on to my eBay sales. Up first is this Free People Ruffle Floral Tunic Top. Selena Gomez wore this, so I think that's a huge factor as to why it sold. It sold for $65 and then I made... 5505. Then we have this Bagu puffy tote that I originally bought when I was passing through San Francisco. And again, I shouldn't have bought it because I just never ended up wearing it. It sold for a total of $65 and I made 5545. This next sale is an exciting one because it was a lot of five Zaya joggers. I found these all at once at the thrift store and decided to bundle them. I got an offer the next day for $100. And so I made $84.24 from that sale. So definitely pick up Zaya joggers because they seem to go for a lot of money. 
Everything else is kind of eh. This next dress is a new to me brand called Able the Label. It is sold at Anthropology, and I thought this dress was super pretty. It definitely caught my eye on the new rack at the thrift store. It sold for $50 and then I made $42.10. This next item was another item again that I bought for me, but I didn't realize that these Birkenstocks were narrow fit and I have wide feet, so I needed the regular fit. So I had to resell them. I did make my money back and then a little bit more. They sold for $106 and then I made $89.65. And my final sale of the summer are these vintage Y2K mud shorts with the lace up detailing on the side. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought they'd sell for more considering that they were Y2K, they did not. Um, so they sold for $15 and I made $11.56. I would not pick these up again. So just make sure you always do your research. All right, that's all I have for you. You can support my channel by liking this video, watching my other videos and subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, bye.